What's up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 Forsaken Exotic review video in today's video. I'll be going over one of the new Titan Exotics, it's called the Heart of Inmost Light. This is essentially like the helm of Inmost Light, which was in Destiny 1. It was a helmet, but now they just turned it into a chess piece. But let's go over the perks. Comes with overflowing light. Using an ability, which is grenade melee or barricade, empowers the other two abilities. Empowered means abilities have faster regen. Melees and grenades do more damage, and barricades have more hit points. So it looks like we have a resilience and a recovery mod. Obviously, mine's a random roll throughout. So next we have unflinching linear fusion, sniper, and rifle aim. So you can choose between any of those. And then you have primary ammo finder and special ammo finder as its last column now how to obtain this exotic considering that it is a forsaken exotic it's a random drop from anywhere in the world like i'm sorry to say not even zerk can sell these new forsaken items yet i don't know why he's supposed to be selling us our those exotic things that he has so rng just has to be on your side 100 i've only gotten a few forsaken exotics and i a lot of people have also felt the effects of this but still if you get it awesome if not you probably got like a different exotic which is perfectly fine it might even be better in this one <laughs> So here's a summary and my thoughts on the perk. So overflowing light. Essentially, once you use one of your abilities, your others get number one, faster regen, number two, a damage buff. So which can include your super abilities as well. So I was actually running the Ascendant Challenge for week two and I threw a grenade and my burning maw hammer actually did more damage, which is pretty awesome. So overall, um, just like initial impressions, I don't believe that this is the best option for higher tier end game activities, but it can be fun in certain situations, which I'm gonna be getting into. So PvE-wise, I can safely say it'd be good to use in certain activities, but my immediate question is, can it compare to Syntheseps or things like Hollow Fire Heart? Obviously, I would say it can't keep up with synthe like Syntheseps, but can allow for a lot of different types of damage options, right? So again, I was using Burning Maw because of the Roaring Flames perk, which can stack up to three times, which basically says like when you do solar ability kills, your other solar abilities actually do more damage. So if you have a grenade and it's a thermite grenade and you hit three adds, guess what? You get times three damage, add gets right into it, it does times three. So which can stack with the overflowing light perk from Heart of Inmost Light, which is pretty cool. So the perk can be activated most of the time in PvE, um, but it doesn't last very long. I wish it would just last uh, a little longer. I played with it a lot because it was the first exotic that I got and actually kept my power level up so I definitely wanted to play with it a lot and to see how it felt and it personally it didn't feel like a huge amount of change obviously like being able to drop ads faster is great but still I, I, I wish it just did a little more. PvP wise in the Crucible I can safely say it doesn't make a huge difference to your performance like in PvP. It's clearly not as good as other Titan PvP exotics like Lion Rampants uh, and Insurmountable Skull Fort and things like Synthesis but again can be viable in certain situations depending on what you're doing. Once you use an ability your others get stronger right you get faster regen right which is always good for Crucible which means for example if you pop your barricade right your other abilities get stronger like your grenade or your melee so maybe a sticky grenade can one hit somebody or your sticky grenade can take down somebody who only lost a little bit of their shield or if you use your melee or grenade your barricade can take more hits before it disappears which can be good for holding down zones or just trying to like protect your team from oncoming fire which is pretty good so i always say the perk can be activated a good amount of time in the crucible but in my opinion it doesn't last long enough and it doesn't feel strong enough like it can be activated a lot which is cool like <clears throat> it has a good amount of synergy excuse me but I, I again like i feel like it doesn't last too long and it's definitely not strong enough for things in the crucible especially with how people are playing now like it doesn't it doesn't even compare to uh, some other exotics find my ranking is a six out of ten overall the perk can be a good general exotic to use like if you're just going around doing public events and stuff like that like being able to put out some extra damage on some ads is great but in my opinion it's just not strong enough for anything end game or competitive it could use an upgrade to the damage and how long the perk lasts in my opinion uh, but still if you get this thing i wouldn't recommend using it unless bungie actually d like makes an upgrade to it or a buff all right guys that's my review over the new titan exotic the heart of inmost light if you want to help support me there'll be a link below say best way to support me i'll take it to a four minute video if you want to go check that out that'd be awesome but if you don't want to do that you can always like this video subscribe to the channel share this video turn that notification bell next to subscribe if you want to be notified when i drop some new content on the channel and then comment y'all will see below again making content for you so everyone see i will try to get out there as quickly as possible also we have the discord link below there's no requirements to join or anything like that we obviously have some text chats going about destiny 2 forsaken some upcoming games like division 2 and anthem and we also have some voice chats so if you want to talk to me you can just message me and talk to me on there all right guys hope you enjoyed this video we'll catch you next time